rolling. Good. This one's like a half second bonus. This is just in my car. What's up, guys? We are back with another episode. Got a good one today. Rock. What's up, baby? We got the world champion of Scopa. Well, he has a partner, Biagio. He, he couldn't make it today. Yes, yes. But you came, you saw, and you Scopa'd. Absolutely. And I told you I was going to do it. You, you backed it up. Of course. I mean, when I back something up, I back it up. <laughs> Joe, what, how did you feel about the tournament? How did... Uh, Walking into it, were you nervous at all? Not at all, not at all. In fact, I've seen a lot of familiar, familiar faces. <laughs> I used to hang out here in Brooklyn before you guys used to do this stuff. Well, you, you were know. partners with the owner of the of best Fortunatos. bakery in his neighborhood. <laughs> so. Yadro from Fortunatos. I used to hang out with him. Kid Tommaso that was there, played in the tournament. I used to hang out with him. Mm -hmm. So there was a few familiar faces there, so I wasn't intimidated at all. <laughs> I, will, I will give you this. That video that we both shared of you talking smack, saying, you know, I'll take on anybody. You got a lot of people pissed off. A lot of people wanted to play you. And, you know, I had the luxury of playing you in the first round matchup. And I was like, yeah. I was like, me, all right. There's something special with this guy. He, Rock, Rock and Marco from IFTV were like, why'd you do this to us? I like, listen, it's the luck of the draw. You're going to have to face him eventually, you know? Yeah, we didn't, uh, the growing up Italian team didn't, uh. Didn't do very well, listen, but listen, you, I lost to the champ. I can't be you mad. You gave me your best. You gave me your best. And most of the guys we played that night, me and Biggie, they gave it their best. Now, for someone that never played Scopa before, right. explain Scopa to Tom from Ohio in 60 seconds. All right. Well, Scopa is an Italian game. In English, it's called sweep. Basically, you're matching cards. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's like you have to get as many. You got to score four points. There's diamonds in the, in the deck. You got to get all the diamonds. The seven of diamonds is a, a point in itself. The then majority get, of diamonds is a point, so over, the, over five. Right, right, over five. And then you have to get the most cards, so there's 40, 40 cards in the deck. You've got to get over 21. And uh, sevens. Sevens is a very important card. You've got to get the most sevens in the deck, and that's a point in itself. So basically, you're dealing with four points. It's a very easy game. Yeah, so it's four points in the deck, and then if you get Scopas, you could obviously score more. Yes, if you get a Scopa and you sweep all the cards off the table, that's a point in itself. You could score like two, three, four Scopas. If the person next to you... Once you get rolling, down. sometimes you could, you know, get two, three points. Oh, absolutely. Like absolutely. Or if the other team doesn't shuffle very well. That yeah. too. You gotta I, got, I got hammered with five Scopas against this. That's, 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 that hurts. That hurts. That hurts. Five that was scopas. a heartbreaker. But, but Joe, before we go into anything, you know, last time you were on the show, uh, you gave me a nice gift. I think it was the, the fork that Jesus Christ used <laughs> back in the day. So it was I the said, wooden fork, yes. So I said, you know, this time it's only right that I return the favor. Oh, wow. And I get Joe a gift. So, Joe, from, from me to you, this is the white yo hat. He got oh, the so. Goomba hat. Look at that. <laughs> so, does, does it fit? Rock does it fit? I got to try it on. But he got gel in his hair. That's so. all right. I will, we'll try this bad boy on over here. Oh, yeah. i never seen a hat more fit for somebody in my <laughs> life. <laughs> Rock, thank you. No, that's, that's class. That's class if I've ever seen you. it. You got it, Kuji. Uh, Listen, like enjoy. Like Guys, for everybody that doesn't know Joe, okay, I'm going to say it how it is. Tell him. You get a lot of hate on TikTok. Forget about it. A lot of people, I see a lot of negative comments. You know, this guy thinks he's a tough, you know, stuff like that. All the time. I will vouch for Joe and say you are a gentleman. Thank you. Thank you. Big reason why. After he won, the money he won, he donated to the Saint. People sometimes, they get the money and they run. You know, they run for the hills. You know, <laughs> At the end of the day, yes, we had a scope of time, but it was to bring awareness to our patron Saint. And also to spread Italian culture because where do you see a Scopa tournament? Where do you see a Brisco tournament? Where do you see anything yeah, like they're, this? They're very rare, and it was a really, really nice, nice get together you guys did. It was amazing, actually. Mm -hmm. If we don't do this, nobody is. So you know? at the end of the day, that's what's the most important. Absolutely. We had a great time. You won. You cleaned up. But well, yeah, well, I, I don't know. I don't know what I was going to do that. That, that, <laughs> <laughs> that was, I was expected. But I will say, I would love to see a matchup. 
you versus my uncle Nigal. And I mean, Scopa. Absolutely. Scopa is very luck driven, but Briscola is that's more of a team game. Well, that's right? a whole different game. Yeah, that's a whole different game. I'm not going to talk smack about that game because. I didn't perfect that game, but I'll play it. Oh, you, you didn't perfect Brisco? Uh, not, not to the point of Scopa, no. No? I, what do you think about a Brisco tournament in, this, in the winter time? I mean, I would love to do it. I just think that there's not as many people that know how to play Brisco. You know, Scopa's easy. I, 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 easy, you know? I mean, I, I know how to play it, of course. You don't think we get 20 teams in the tri state area? That, that will get heated. 28, yeah. That will get heated because that one, you're using signs. Yeah. You're doing a look. You're doing a little. Yeah, do you yeah. know the signs in Brisco or not? I, I, I got I to gotta brush up on it, but I, I know a few signs here and there. Were you and uh, Biggie doing signs for Scopa? You know? No, man. I, I, Biggie, let me tell you, he was. Uh, I wouldn't have won this tournament without him. He, he's a great player. He's a great player. I, I talk a lot of smack, but he, he knows what he's doing. Well, listen, he. Works in a cafe all day. What do you think he does? He makes espressos, plays cards. <laughs> that's that's his nature, you know. He's a, well, well, listen. If he's not good at cards, nobody's good at cards. Yeah, he was really, he was really good, really good. Now, what are some advantages to being a good Scopa player? Like, what separates you versus me and Rocco? Well, you have to know what you throw. You have to know that you don't want to get the other person to have a Scopa. You don't want them to have a sweep. So if you, you always go over ten, you always go over ten, always. So that, I was gonna say, model. do you play aggressive or are you more like conservative when you play it? Because when you play with me, you took a couple of shots. I was like, I did. You got lucky, like I got lucky, that. I didn't but have I also the card. Guesses of what you had in your hand, right? Right. Because Probability I I, I towards the end, like I once you came out, you right? Know? You have to understand something. You're dealing with forty cards, not fifty-two, like an American deck. Yeah. So you kind of like I don't want to say I'm counting cards. I'm really supposed no, to say but that. that's but the strategy because yes. you think okay, there's four eights, there's four nines, two four eights tens. come out. What are the odds that he has an eight? Right. If I have an eight in my hand, right. you know, right. like but yeah. then, there's, then there's times you have to take a couple chances. All right, you know, I did. It worked out on my favor. Like if you right. see the set to the nod, right, and right. then there's a a three or a five. Let's say you pick up the set to the nod, and it's like okay, now he has a chance to get it to score. Yeah. I picked so, up a point. You don't forget, I picked yeah. up a point. So. Pick up the point. You gotta, that's how you have to look at that game. Mm -hmm. You know, you just can't play, oh, let's match the cards. Right. Like, there was this one kid at the tournament. It was funny. I don't know his name. I don't want to put him on blast, but he, he was calling the, 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 the Ac Acavallo donkey, the donkey the card. And every time he would get it, he would stand up and he would do a donkey dance. I said, I hope I play this guy because <laughs> Who was I'll this? play with my eyes closed. <laughs> that had to be Greg. <laughs> I mean, I'd play with my eyes closed with this guy, you know. <laughs> you know what I actually saw while people were playing that I thought was mad cool? <laughs> Doing the donkey. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was actually dancing. I was like, look at this character. I, I, I wish I could play him. <laughs> what were you saying, my man? That was no, too funny. Um, what I saw, which was is super rare, I only saw it a couple of times, but when you get a Scopa with the set of the nod, and that's two points. Yes, yeah. that's that. We did that twice. Uncle, oh, you, oh, you did that? that that's the best. That's, that's awesome. the best. That's awesome. That's, awesome. that's two points. Bang, like that. You know, it's like smacking the other opponent really yeah. hard in the face. Yeah. You know, I was taught never to set up for a seven. Yeah, yeah. No matter what, you never set yeah, you up. You never for leave a seven. a seven down. True, true. So if, let's say to. there's a five. Unless and two you down. have another one in your hands. Yeah. Well, you're trying to oh, set yeah. your teammate up too because exactly. he gives you the sign that he's got one. I, we didn't do no signs. We we just played straight up. I never saw anybody do signs with Scopa. Oh really? That's me, a whole me and Marco tried. <laughs> you guys, like, how did it work out for you? Well, we were up three one, and that was the last time we were up all tournaments. So. <laughs> That's it. No, but Joe, thank you for coming. Absolutely. Um, absolutely. I actually have a couple of fun questions for you that's not Scopa related. Yes, go away. Okay. And, uh, you know, maybe we could elaborate on a little bit. Okay. Sure. But how do you feel about cappuccinos? Because the, the, let me set up my question a little better. Go ahead. In Italy, cappuccino is a big breakfast thing. Right. Right? You right. eat a cappuccino, a little biscotti, you know? Yeah. Over here in America, like after dinner, a lot of Medigans get cappuccinos. Right, right. Now, what's your stance on it? <clears throat> well, I would like a nice cappuccino in the morning, and uh, at nighttime after a nice meal, I would have an espresso. I wouldn't have an. I wouldn't order a cappuccino. Very rarely would I have a cappuccino at nighttime, actually. Okay, so you think nighttime cappuccino after dinner, it doesn't. Go it just doesn't fly with me, and not because I want to copy what the Italian people do in Italy. It's, it's how I, I'm raised. I mean, I never had really cappuccino after dinner. What do you think, Rob? Yeah, it's, it's a morning thing. I never had it after dinner either. Yeah. I don't know why that's a thing, to be honest. It's a big thing here, though. I'd rather just have an espresso, you know, as, as Siri uh, chimes Siri, in as well. Siri's it's not my Siri. <laughs> it might be his Siri. 
Siri. Gumar, Siri is Stop to cheat the no, Siri. No, no, no. By the way, we're about to have some fun with Nico right after this pod. Did there Nico scare you, Joe, or no? Oh, the guy that was putting the camera in my face as I got out of my car? <laughs> no, he wasn't scaring me. <laughs> what, what scares you, Joe? What, like, you're, you're a big guy. You're tall. You know, you look like, you know, you could play football. Not what Is there anything that scares you? I want to tell everybody a funny story since we're on the subject. Well, if I if I if I may, there's a look that my father gives uh. that scared me since I was a kid. If he gives it to today, I might say I would be a little scared, you know, <laughs> even though I'm I'm like three times the size of him now. But that look made an image in my mind. So if he gives me that look, which he hasn't done in, in years, it might scare me. Other than that, so the I gotta muscle. I gotta I gotta admit something. When Joe won the tournament. He won the espresso machine and a box. So there's two big boxes. And I'm like, I'm not going to let the champion bring these boxes by himself. I'm going to take a walk with him. Yeah. Yes, gentlemen. He gentlemen. goes, oh, yeah, I'm around the corner. But he was literally around the corner, like, yeah, right yeah. here on Withers, St. Sabino. And there was a rat like this that <laughs> ran past. I ran in the middle. Joe did not flinch. Really? That's when I realized that Joe's not scared of anything. Joe has no fear. I'm terrified of those bad boys. <laughs> I don't like him, but... Uh, it's so cologne. It's so, it's so cologne. Me, yeah. me and Rocco hate him. I know, but you, you threw that thing in my car pretty fast. Yeah, yeah. I, was, I turned around. Oh, all right, Joe, gone. see you later, all right? I turned around, he was gone. All right, I, have a good night, you know? <laughs> yeah. I never... And then I walked in the middle of the street back. Yeah, he walked in the street. <laughs> I would have done the same thing. I'm not even going to lie to you. <laughs> yeah, no, that doesn't scare All right, Joe, you sit down at a restaurant. Right. You're not a guy that drinks tap water. No, no, no. Still or sparkling? Sparkling. Yeah? Yeah. What's your preferred brand? Pellegrino, the usual. Classic guy. What about yeah. you? Yeah, it's 100% same thing. I'm a still guy. Yeah. Still? Aquapana, you know? All right. Hey, to each his own. What's, what's your dream vacation besides Italy? My dream vacation. Shit. Now you got me stumped. Actually, a cruise. A, a, a Mediterranean cruise. All hmm. across the Mediterranean, that includes Italy, like Greece, 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 Spain, all around there. That's what I, I, I really like. Do to they do. do that? Yeah, right? Yeah, they, they do, do that. that. And, I mean, and I could not, not do to that, mention, but... they have a, a nice casino on that boat. Oh, hey, you want to clean yeah. them up too? Of course. Have you ever been uh, to Greece? No, never been to Greece. Been to France, France, Germany, Italy, Malta, and that's it for Europe. And England. England. Oh, you went to London? Yeah. How'd you like it? It's cold. Rainy. Yeah, rainy, yeah. cold. Are so you I, a tea guy or no? No, I, I, I don't mm-hmm. really like tea. I'll drink it, but I, I don't know. The, the casino tea. spoke out to me. I'm curious. So if I saw you at the casino, am I going to see you at the roulette putting 100 on black? Or am I playing craps or playing blackjack? You're going to see me at the card table. Yeah, he's a poker? Card You're going to see me at the card table. Yeah, I, I would not want to sit next to you bluffing <laughs> me like crazy. Well, honestly, I, I can see him getting mad at you. Like, why'd you hit on that? <laughs> the blackjack? supposed uh, to go to him. That's why I stay away from those games, because you have people that don't know what the hell they yeah, That's me. Yeah. You, 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 you'll you hit on 20? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I want to get the 21. Ace, <laughs> double down, double down. No, but like... That's the generous. Like, right sometimes there. when you have like... Sometimes you don't hit when you have 15. I'm like, what? Or 14, well, that's 13? The that's the chance. Yeah, yeah, everybody's scared of busting. Exactly. You know, no I'm pun scared intended. of busting, too. <laughs> that's why I stay away from that game. <laughs> You would get along with Rock on a casino because he likes to yeah, play. Yeah, I like, like to, to play. play. Yeah, right. we should go sometime. Uh, absolutely. What's your favorite one around here? Around here? Yeah. Not like, you know, in the tri-state area. Oh, Atlantic City. Right. 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 We'll go. We got to go. go. We'll, we'll schedule a nice weekend. Next weekend? No, a nice, a nice weekend. weekend. Oh, no. He's going to be in Italy next weekend. A little weekend. getaway <laughs> trip. Absolutely. We'll schedule it. Let's do it, baby. What's your go-to pasta dish? <clears throat> go-to pasta dish. Well, there's so many. Um... You talking about pasta food or just regular pasta? Regular pasta. Or if you're going to a restaurant, like, what do you see yourself ordering first? Like, looking on the menu, like, okay, Probably. I'm gonna look at that bolognese. You know, Probably like. the gnocchi. I like um, gnocchi is one of my favorite pastas. Okay. Homemade gnocchi. Yeah. We put made with potato, though, right? Yeah. Because some people don't make it with potato. Some yeah, they make it with corn flour. It's different, but the, the potatoes are really good. Yeah. With a butter sage or like marinara sauce. Oh, either one. Either one. It all yeah, goes down. Like it all goes down the same way. It all goes down the same way, but yeah. gnocchi's are good. They're gnocchi's good. great. And they're filling. You can yeah. have that as a meal. What about ganache? You like that? Ganache. No, no, not too good. said ganache. <laughs> no, people don't know say gnocchi. He's so trying to say, say he trying to make fun of people that don't know. Oh, like, like lasagna, <laughs> some manicotti, <laughs> like that. No, no, I say it the right way. <laughs> so, you're you're Giuseppe. 
right, on paper, right. that you're a real government. Yeah. If you weren't Giuseppe or Joe, what do you think your name would be? <laughs> Tony, for sure. Frank, Frank, Frank. Frank oh, oh, Tony, Anthony. My brother's name is Anthony. Yeah. yeah. So, were you named after anybody, or? I was named after my father. So you're older. I'm the oldest, yeah. Okay. Because, you know, a lot of Italian boys, like, they're named after their nonno first. Their grandfather. Well, I see. Because Rocco's named after his, Rocco's the second eldest, so he's named after the mom, and then Rocco's older brother's named after the dad's dad. You know what I mean? Like, sometimes you see that. I was supposed to be named after my grandfather. My father's father was just named Franco. Oh, they But supposedly they had some kind of fight when I was born, so he changed it to, to his name. He put his name. And we kept it that way. I even named my son Joseph. So now there's three. three generations there's three, of Joe. That's right. And now he has to name. I told him. I said, "Daddy, when you get married, you have to name your son Joseph." Not too much pressure, though. <laughs> I just told that. Um, do you watch any sports? Of course. What do you go to sports? Yankee, Yankees, Giants. I like the Knicks. I, I, I'm not. Fortunately, they didn't, they didn't win in my lifetime, though. You know. Not in mine either. <laughs> Joe, we, we definitely could get along then. Yeah. This funny. guy likes every opposite three team. Teams, yeah. Yeah. What do you like? Mets. You like the Mets. He likes huh? the losing teams. So. Mets, Jets. Oh. Mets, Jets, Knicks. I'm a good loser. I lose really good. All right, all right. Listen. Eh. No, the Mets but and the Yankees. You're a are... Queens guy. I'm surprised he's not a Mets fan. But I was born with the Yankees. I mean, uh, all my whole family members, all Yankees, all Yankee fans. Who are some of your favorite Yankee players? Don Mattingly. He never Donnie, won a chip, though. But he's Donnie Baseball. How crazy is that? Like, of a Yankee player never won a chip. Have you been watching the Derek Jeter um, special on ESPN Plus? I actually have not. No. So. Don Mattingly, like, you got to watch it. It's on ESPN+. Plus. It's six episodes. I think four episodes are out. By the time this podcast yeah, comes the, out, the they'll all be out. out yeah. But um, basically, they show, like, when Derek Jeter came up, and the first year he started playing, he only started playing, really, during the postseason, and that was Don Mattingly's last year. Okay. So Don Mattingly played all these years with the Yankees, who are, like, the best sports franchise in everything. Right, and he right. never won a championship. A shame. And then the very next year, they won. They won, yeah. So, like, he missed winning a chip. Yeah, it's incredible. By one year. So, I, that's well, the one I, thing I, that I grew up have. with Donnie Baseball. That's why he's, he's my absolute favorite. What about Joe DiMaggio? You never saw Joe DiMaggio, I never right? saw Joe DiMaggio, but of course, those are legends. Joe DiMaggio, Mickey Mantle. Here's one for you guys. What about Joe Pipitone? Mm. That sounds familiar. He was a player in the right. 70s. Very what great team career. for the Yankees? The Yankees, yeah. Now, you being a fellow Yankee fan, if you could give a pitch to the Yankees front office, what should they do to judge? <laughs> you got to be the guy to convince them or, or not convince them, whatever. What's your stance? Hey Joe, what's your message to Aaron Judge right there? Or the Yankees front office about Aaron Judge? I don't want to make any negative comments because I don't want a, a lot of shit thrown at me. So I'm going gonna, I'm to stay neutral to this question. Yeah. Why don't you guys answer? Do you think... All right. All right. How about this? The Yankees offered a contract extension to Aaron Judge. Yeah. And he said no. Right? He bet it on himself. They offered him a nice contract. But he's right. having, like, one of the greatest years since Barry Bonds. Yeah, he's on, he's like, on pace. He's on pace. Exact hit, pace to hit that home to run hit record. 70 home runs. Right, right, right. Now, would you give this guy what he wants, or do you not... Like, think he's a, uh, like has the same ability. Well, listen, the Yankee franchise has, has enough money to do whatever they want, and they can give him whatever they want. But then, you know, he's doing that now. What about next season? He's going to do the same thing? Think about it. Contract year, right? Contract. He's going to play lights out. I, I believe in that too. Yeah, I believe in a contract. You, you know, you contract year. They know they're going to get paid. So Absolutely. he's having the best. He probably this is probably the best year of his career. Probably ever. Oh, like definitely. it will be at no, the end of his career. You know what's crazy about baseball? Like, in NBA, you get drafted, you start playing right away. Right. Baseball, they, like, keep you till you're, like, 23, 24. Then all of a sudden, you get into majors. Yeah. You're on a minor league contract for three, four years. Then when it's time to get your payday, you're 28, 29, that's, like, the one big payday you get. Yeah. Whereas, like, basketball, you get two big paydays, maybe, right? right? Yeah, that's the difference in pay, yeah. So absolutely. that's why, you know, I kind of respect why Judge did that. And it's the business of baseball. You know, these guys are going to oh. get... Baseball is a business. But yeah. I think Judge all is going to get business. that 10 year. The Yankees are going to yeah, get it. He's going to get the biggest contract of all time. There's no doubt about it. After this year, especially. Or Juan, or Juan if Soto. it's not the Yankees, somebody will. Somebody will buy it. Who do you think is going to make more money, Juan Soto or Aaron Judge? Judge. judge. You think so? Yeah. Even the age difference, like it's still Judge. Mm -hmm. All right. So you're Sicilian and Napoli Don. Correct. Right? 
If you had to pick one, are you going Sicily or Napoli? I would have to say Napoli because I grew up mostly on my mother's side and uh, I speak mostly that dialect. So I would have to say Napoli. What do you think about Sicilians? And um, they basically, if you ask a Sicilian, they're like, I'm not Sicilian. Like, I'm, not, I'm not Italian, I'm Sicilian. But then if you say you're not Italian, you're Sicilian, they get upset. Right. What is it about Sicilians and, you know... They feel, I don't know, coming from both. <laughs> so, That's uh, why I'm asking you, I, I, because you from, see the both sides. Coming from both, I, 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 I consider myself Italian. Sicilian side and the Napoleon side. That's what, if someone says, uh, are you Italian? I'm Italian. I'm not going to say I'm half Sicilian, half Italian. No, I'm Italian, 100% Italian. Okay. okay. I have one more freaky question, then, Rob, you can ask and your question. Yeah, I'll seal the deal, yeah. Joe, what do you think about aliens? Do you think they exist? <laughs> illegal, illegal aliens? No, no. <laughs> like, uh, like ET. You serious? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just curious. Like, I gotta know. I don't, I don't, no, I don't believe in aliens. No. 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 So you don't think there's I mean, well, anything out of this? Uh, there might be something out there in outer space with the stars and stuff, but uh, that's not me. I don't really think about that kind of stuff. No. You don't think an aliens like ever like hovered over us or anything like that? I, I highly doubt it, but it, it, it's possible. It's possible. What do you think, Rob? But, I, uh, I definitely think there's aliens. You think there's aliens? There's got to be. Was it just there's like aliens that walk among us? No, I mean not that walk like, among like, us. Like men in black. That's, that's there's crazy, probably yeah. a country that's like controlling what we're doing right now. Not it's a country, so, a planet. A planet? That's, yeah, yeah, that's like manipulating what the hell we're doing right now. What you have now. to do? So you what you drink today? <laughs> <laughs> you know what it is? I could have this conversation for hours. We're, we're, we're at two hundred something episodes of the Growing Up Italian podcast, and okay. I think we're at a point where we ran out of things. To talk about it, so now you want to start talking so about. So I'm aliens? like, I'm gonna ask Joe what he thinks about aliens if they exist. But I've never seen an alien, but I've seen like Area 51 and all this stuff, right, and like right, they have right. proof and this and that. Oh, I'm sure there's, there might be something out there, but uh, do I believe in it? Like, do I lose sleep over it? No. I think Joe would be our defending force. If aliens came, he would make the negotiations. Oh, what's the matter with you? Hey, sit the down, fuck sit out of here. Sit down. Hey, those fucking antennas. Sit, sit down for a minute over here. Let's talk about this. You know? <laughs> no, we get all hostile and shit. So then the follow-up question would be, is, do you believe in ghosts? Ghosts, yeah. I, that, absolutely. Yeah? I do believe in ghosts. In fact, I have a ghost in my house. You do? Really? Absolutely. What's his name? I think his name is Javon. Gio. I think. But uh, you are, guy, you are stop that coat. The guy's a pain in the ass. You know why? Because he's always interrupting me in certain things that he's not supposed to interrupt me. Uh. When you're bombarding, <laughs> you know, every time I'm about to, you know, go upstairs, the kids asleep and do a little something with somebody. Mm. The fucking guy shows up. You know, now and is this real? Maybe he wants a piece of the action. I don't know, but maybe you know, he's I, a pervert I, in his old days. <laughs> he can watch if he just be quiet, but he moves <laughs> his fucking pictures around. He flicks his lights around, and she gets uncomfortable. Then the fucking TV starts going on and off. I said, we, we can't do this over here. We got to go downstairs. This for the front you know? of the <laughs> Juwan is a horny Giovanni, bastard. Giovanni the Italian paid the ass ghost. <laughs> you know, real quick story too. When I first moved into my house, right when I was in bed. I heard a chair move downstairs. Like, literally, like, as if, like, Le Pig just, like, slapped the chair. Like, you heard it, like... Right, 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 right. So the first three nights I slept in my house, I was bugging out. I'm like... And every night I was like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> so what happened was I told my mom and my Zs, and they came over my house and blessed it. Really? And ever since then, it was pretty they good. They stopped? Yeah. And I had... Uh, the house was previously owned by a Jewish uh, couple... And they had, like, this thing by the door. I never took it off. I'm like, if the ghost is Jewish, he's allowed, no problem. Right, Look, right, Look, you're, right. you're welcome, you know? But <laughs> I was bugging out for, like, three, four days. Like, he's, like, bugging out. Like, I'm going to sell the house. I can't do it, you know? It's but, funny you mention that because the previous owner of my house, they were Jewish. Mm-hmm. But this Giovanni, he doesn't look Jewish, you know? <laughs> Wait, you seen him? I, I, there's a picture downstairs in the basement, right? Oh, my when God. the original owners of the house. Uh-huh. This is freaky it's stuff. not them. It's this guy with, with a hat just like this. It's kind <laughs> of free that Rod gave me this fucking hat today. <laughs> a hat just like this is black and white pictures downstairs, but it, it didn't belong to the owners. They said it was it was here when um, they had the house or whatever. Maybe it was a, a cousin or a neighbor. I don't know who it was, but it wasn't them. 
And I think that's the ghost. I think. That's amazing. One thing I will say, in Italy, especially where Rocco's, because my mom comes from the same town as Rocco's uh, okay. parents, then my dad comes from a different town. Growing up, I always went to my dad's town. But in that town, it's a little funky there. Like, I saw the craziest things I've ever What's seen. What's the name of the town? Sassano. Sassano, okay. It's in Salerno. Salerno, okay. Four or 5,000 people. Beautiful town, but a lot of paranormal yeah. activity over so, there. So, like, the first that's, thing that's I saw that you guys bugged mentioned me out. aliens. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> but we're, we're, we're a little weird, you know? But <laughs> the first thing I saw that bugged me out in there was seeing someone possessed, you know? Oh, like one of the exorcist yeah. type deals. So, I see that I never day. thought you would see something. You seen that before? Every day. Where? At work. <laughs> really? You, you ever go to drive to the Bronx? <laughs> that's, that's crack. To me, they look all possessed. <laughs> <laughs> it might be crackheads, but to me, they're possessed. But sometimes they say that people, this could be completely different. I don't know how the hell we got here. <laughs> but sometimes they say that people that do get possessed, sometimes they're drug addicts because they're more vulnerable to like have a, a demon take over your body or something when mm. you're a drug addict. So right. it makes sense what you said. Or their body's reaction to a drug. But Actually, I have a question for the podcast itself. I don't know how we got to the scope of tournament and discuss about aliens <laughs> and, and, uh, and, and, and exorcism. But continue. Go ahead. Okay. Before we go, Joe, right? You came on the podcast first. It was winter time. I'll say, what, seven, eight months ago? Yeah, about. Yeah. He got we mad at sat, us. We sat in this office. Okay. Now, to get in touch with Joe, if this is the first time uh, you're watching a podcast with Joe Gambino, right? To get in touch with him, I posted a story saying, who knows him? Because I couldn't message him on TikTok because mm -hmm. he was banned from sending messages. They banned me for life. So I said, Joe, let's make an Instagram for you so your fans could reach out to you. Now, I don't know why, but I saw your Instagram out there. I'm like, this guy reached 10,000 followers. Yeah. Today is 10.2. 10, 10, 10 10.2. Yeah, probably more now. Interesting. On TikTok, you're at... 20 something, right? 26,000, 26.7, I think. What's happening here? I, I don't know. <laughs> you see, I was told that to be successful in Instagram and TikTok, you have to have haters and you have to people love you. And I got both. What do you think? It's like 50 50? Or? I would say it's more. I have a lot 60 of, I have, 40? I have a lot of fans. I have a lot of people that love me. But then I have a lot of pains in the ass that don't like me. And that's boosting my. Popularity too, yeah. yeah. So, like the negative comments help the videos oh, absolutely, get rolling. Absolutely, absolutely, yeah. yeah. And uh, Mo told me this. I was Let's, just gonna bring him up too, but Mo, Mo, Mo was very. He told me, "Don't feed into these assholes. The less you ignore them, the better. They boosting you up anyway. So let them talk. You know, he's right." That's advice I gave Mo. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, Mo used to go crazy over that. That's what he told me. Yeah, yeah. He told he me. Used he to told go me. Crazy he was, over that. Was like, you know, and, and me too. Mo used to look for people like let's say. He let's say, me, let's, say, me, let's say, let's uh, say, Lil Pick would comment on your picture, and he would see that I follow him. He would yeah. call me, and say, "This guy, you you follow him? Who is he? Give me his number." Yeah. And you say, "Why'd you comment that?" <laughs> and then he'd be like, oh, you get that know, crazy, man. huh? But uh, I do want to ask you, how was it going out to dinner with a foodie like Little Mo Mozzarella? Oh, it was amazing. I had an amazing night. Uh, Joe, going to the restaurant was amazing. A great time that night. You should have came. I know. I know you were stuck in Staten Island. Yeah. I understand. But the question that everybody wants to ask: Go ahead. You and Little Mo are sitting at dinner. Who's picking up the bill? Neither of us. Oh, it's gone. It was on the arm. Everything was on the arm. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love but it. But that, that guy, he walks in. There. He goes, "I'm not." Pay he walked in the tournament. I ain't paying for nothing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he lets he lets everyone know. That's, but, uh, that's gonna be that's going? gonna be you in a few uh, in a few I months. Do that now, what are you talking about? <laughs> that's it, Joe. I was gonna go downstairs and have for a second. Put on Sabino's bill. What do you What do you think about <laughs> reviewing food? Would you ever get into? Because a lot of people are doing it. A lot cool, of people do know? that. A lot of people do that. I would do it. I would do it if you know. But I, that's not my thing. But I would do it. Nick, do you see potential in that? Him eating, him reviewing food, his best pizza spot. See, it's, it's, that's right. A How about we it. review cars with Joe? Kia Sorrentos. Do your own thing. I like that. Yeah. Originality, baby. That's why That's why he's the unofficial talent scout in New York. Yeah. And I'm Sabino Curse. It all happens in the, the driver's seat, baby. Uh, of a Kia Sorento. That's where it started. That's where the magic that's happens. That's where it started. That's where it started. I'm always in the fucking thing, so. 
<laughs> Joe, it was always a pleasure always having a you pleasure, on. Man. Pleasure, pleasure. Enjoy well. the rest of your summer, and thank you for you too, guys. And then thank you for uh, all your hospitality and everything else. And we'll see you soon. This is only always. the beginning. Always. Listen, if this video gets over a hundred likes on YouTube, maybe we'll bring Joe back again. Make it like a monthly thing. We'll see. And we'll see. And if it doesn't, if it doesn't, I'll, 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 if it doesn't, I'll show up anyway. We'll make sure. Do? Lock the door. <laughs> There's ways to get in there. That's it. Bonanote.